Hello, it's Hans. Come in, I show you something. So this is our bedroom and we need a little bit more space here. So come on, I show you something. Here's a walk-in closet. And if you look, it's not that huge. And we just need a little bit more space. So now the question was, where do, where do we put some other cabinets or whatever? So look at that board. I removed already a big picture here. Normally there is a big picture and that's it. So why should we waste that space? Now I got the idea. Ikea, Ikea packs. So we are gonna buy an Ikea Pax wardrobe, but not the big one. If you see, we don't have that much space here. And I, I'm gonna go and buy a 30 centimeter, that's approximately one foot deep wardrobe from Ikea. And then it just goes up to that light switch. That's untouched, I don't need to change anything. And it nearly fits on the whole wall. It covers a little bit that window, but do you know what? I don't care, I give a shit. I don't need that. So, now we make a little cut. I'm gonna buy my cabinets, build them up, and then comes the next part of the video. Thank you for watching. This is your Hans. So we unpacked the side, uh, the sidewalks here and then the screws are in place, everything is organized and preparation is the whole deal here. So just go in, get your power drill there, and then get your angles, get the stuff done here. It's easy to do, takes time, but it's not It's not that difficult to do. So then the next one, and then go further with it, and that's it. Cut. So now we have the, uh, the back wall there. It's a little bit wob wobbly. I don't like that at all. But Joe, to get it fixed, you need to put in some little nails. And they have a little device here for your, that you get your, your distance right. Then just put the nail in there, go like that. And then your distance is right. And then the nail doesn't come out on the inside. So, but you need to do that very carefully because that whole thing is otherwise it's a little bit bobbly as I said and that gives a lot of stability. Yeah. Hi. So before you put the wardrobe in position you need to cut some shims to put underneath so that you get it in the right angle and then it stays safe. So therefore, you lift that a little bit up, put these shims underneath, here and here. On this one, we have still to do it. And then go with your level, and then you can adjust it on these screws here, down or up, till your level is fine. Like this one. Looks amazing like that. So, and then just turn it till there is a little bit resistant and then leave it like that so that is on the bottom that it stays safe because you are on the carpet and that is always very soft and you don't want to go your cabinet like you don't want that it has to stay stable so and now we are going to another topic you have to 
fix your, your wardrobe here on the wall that it doesn't fall over <coughs> like this. You don't want that, it hurts you. Okay, I'm showing you a little bit later how to do that. So, to secure the wardrobe on the wall, on the top, you got this provided by I IKEA. So you need a screw and a washer that it doesn't go through, put it this way. So you put it in there and then the washer and it doesn't come off as you can see. So, but you need a drywall anchor. So it is eight by one and a half. That's the measurement of the drywall anchor. I love those. And the washer is 316. So how we are gonna do this, I drill it in here with my power drill in the drywall right away and then use the screw to secure it here. And I'm gonna show you. So here we are, here's the power drill. Here's our drywall anchor. You can get a bit, it fits exactly in there. And you don't need to drill or something like that. Just press it on the drywall and it's in the middle, go in the middle and then let me go. Okay, so we put in the drywall anchor and now I have the washer with the screw and that thingy there from from Ikea and now I screw it in. See, I'm gonna screw it in. Turn that around. See, and now here are some reefs and it holds it awesome. Nothing happens. this you can use it to hang your cloth your rope a lot of people have ropes in their bedroom so I don't want to hang it on the door so we put it on that cabinet but that thing what you can buy from IKEA is this one and you can pull it out hang your thing pull it in that's very nice but this is for inside so normally you have to install it inside, but it's easy to change. Here are already holes, so you count your holes, twill and screw, and then get the screw just from the other side in there, and then you can fix it there, and then you can hang your stuff. And when the cabinet is on place, the wardrobe, then it is hidden behind. Yeah, that's a little secret. <laughs> so you wanna keep your what ropes nice and tight together that there is no gap. So therefore, here's a screw, goes from both sides. So you go, drill a hole here, where there's nothing, no hinge and nothing. Drill a screw. Nice. So now get your screw. Open it up, go from one side. You need a hammer. Let me get the hammer here. Go through that. Go in here. And then get your screwdriver. And get it nice. Nice and tight there. Okay, let me just go on the other side. One sec. And go on there. Should be good. So, no, it's coming together already. Make sure it doesn't move on this side, otherwise you need to hold it with another screwdriver. Whoops! So, I got out of the screw. Ah, so, ah. Tight, so now you have a nice, nice tight wall here. No gaps all over the place. And that's fine. That's how you want it. So when you open your door box here, you can open it with a screwdriver. Don't do it with a knife, otherwise you maybe scratch the surface. So open it here and you see there's a scotch tape, then just go in with your fingers and then go like this, but your fingertips lift a little bit up, don't cut yourself, 
paper cuts, they hurt very much. See, go like this, like this, this, and then your door is there, and you can just install your hinges here without any problems. Hi. So today, yesterday we built the corpus of the pack system and now we are gonna um, install the doors and the doors are packed as you can see. Just open the package and then get the, um, the hinges. They are separate in one package, four hinges for one door. And the nice thing is they have self-closing hinges. Come a little bit closer. Self-closing hinges, these are with the gray tab here. And the other ones are regular hinges. So you put the regular hinges in the middle of the door and the self-closing hinges on the end of the door. And then just go like this, cut out, put them in there. So like this, get your power drill with the right bit. Zack, zack, goes like this. Next one. Takes a little bit longer when you don't wear your glasses, but <coughs> it's okay. I can handle it. So like this, the last one here on the bottom of the door. Yep. And so that's done. Your hinges are installed. Now pick up the door. Pick up the door and it's ready to ready to install and how to install I show it on the other side because with the left hand I don't want to show it it's not that easy with left okay so now we install the door I'll show you how that works so put in the hinges the self-closing hinges on the top and one self-closing hinge on the bottom and the, the regular hinges in the middle you just need to unfold them and put them in put the screws in as I showed you so now Place the door in front of your of your wardrobe here, and then put a foot underneath, like this, and hold it where it's supposed to be, and then <clears throat> look the, the distance to the top. If it if it's even there, then you are right. So here here is the right position. So go with the middle hinges first, and just lift it a little bit up with your foot. So now I'm in. Now I drill it. <laughs> One, two, three, and guess, four. So now the door holds already. There's no issue to put the foot underneath. It's not necessary. Then go on your knees or whatever, bend over, and then screw these ones in. And let me get my step here because I'm a little bit short for these high cabinets. And then let me try these ones in. One. And as I said, I'm short. Two. So now they are put in. Oh, let me remove the step here. So now the door is actually done. See, bomb. It's awesome, isn't it? So next side the same. I did these already. And then we are gonna drill on the hinges. Uh, not the hinges, the handles. Here, here, here. And I show you then when it's done, how it looks like. I'm very satisfied. So now we are gonna install the handles. So that was the package. Be very careful if you take them out of the package. It's very dangerous. You cut your fingers and everything. I don't know how that is even on the market like that. So this is the handle. And these are the attachments for the handle. Later on, it comes the, the screw comes through that door and then you can use it. So first I took the measurements where I want to place the handles. It's 60. Well, for these specific ones, it's 60 centimeters from the bottom and 133 for the, for the top screw. And what I recommend is I'm drilling a hole for the handle from the outside and the inside. Why is that? Well, I can tell you 
if you throw it from the inside to the outside, it can damage the surface here and that looks very ugly. Don't do that. Go from the outside to the inside. If something happens, you will never see it. But that nothing happens. You go with a tape, get the tape there where it comes, press it hard on there and on the bottom the same where the other hole comes and then nothing should happen. Well, always can something happen, but you're prepared. So now I'm gonna drill the hole here. Oh, better I'm wearing my glasses for that. <coughs> so we are gonna drill the hole. I marked it here. It's four centimeters from the outer corner here. Like there, four centimeters in here. And then from the bottom, the 60 and the 133.3 millimeters. I still love to use my millimeters because I'm from Europe and you don't have that inch and foot and all that stuff. I, I can just not handle it. It's terrible. So now I'm gonna drill. Okay, so far looks good. Who knows if it fits? We will find out later. So now I'm gonna drill the other one. Here. So I keep my distance to the drawers there, not that there something happens and I get a surface damage. You don't want that. So open it up, remove your tape. See, there's a little bit split. There's a little bit split, but it's not thick. So here our tape also just a little bit, but that's not bad because that gets hide, hidden by the uh, by the screw. So go with the screw from the inside. See, it's a very big, very very big uh, head, so that will cover that hole. So going like this, I'm gonna go like this here, and then on the other side we put in the the spacers, and maybe I'm gonna try. Put this first. Oh my gosh, what's going on, Hans? I didn't drink anything. So, yeah, okay, it's in there. Then we try the bottom part here. Put this in, and see, this has the shape. This has the shape of the handle. That needs to go to the handle, towards the handle here. So, like this. And then <clears throat> let me find. Oh, it fits! Ha! That's awesome. Well, I'm not really surprised because I know what I'm doing. It sounds arrogant, but I measured three times, and it's better to measure three times than one. One time, do it, and then you find out it's wrong. Don't do that. So, uh, nearly done. Give him a nice snack there. Tick. Okay, you see. So the first one is done. I just closed that, that you can see a little bit better. So first one is done. And so I go further with all the other ones and make sure all the measurements are the same so that you are also on the same level. Otherwise it looks like a disaster. Okay, I show you then afterwards when everything is done. So now I installed the last handle here and now you see we have four handles nice leveled and I extra choose the bigger ones and it looks so nice straight a little bit more contemporary. I like it very much that is our Parks wardrobe and now we are we are ready to put in our clothes. You see here we have some some shelvings here and here and some drawers here and the drawers are actually with a pull in soft clothes thingy it's so nice done and i want to mention one thing 
when I told you to drill the holes for the handles here, put that tape on the side. Well, I know exactly some people would say, well, that doesn't help anything. Well, it helps a little bit if you do it professional, very professional. You go and put a wood block on the other side with a clamp and then nothing splits there. It split it a little bit, but if you come closer, come on, come a little bit closer. You see it split it a little bit, but you cannot see it. It's it's hidden by the by this by the screw here because it's very big. So therefore it's good enough for me. Otherwise you get more tools and more tools and more tools and you're running back and forth just getting tools and getting nothing done. So that was a compromise for me. And you see the and you see the doors, they are also with the soft closing here and on the top hinge. And look at that. Look, oh, it's nice. So that was my PAX project, PAX from IKEA. I'm not from IKEA, I don't advertise for IKEA, but it's just a product. You can customize it very well and it fits in our in our bedroom very well. And if you liked this video, hit the like button underneath and maybe if you want to see more then hit the subscribe button then i will be there for you again with my little diy project your hands and i wish you a nice day so now we are on the end it was fun to make the video i hope you like to watch it here you can see the finished product and if you like it then leave a comment underneath or hit the like like button I appreciate every comment there. Thank you very much and I hope see you soon. Your Hans!